One of those areas that might not have emerged without Enloe's work is feminist geopolitics. By using the work of Enloe, a new generation of scholars was able to create a new feminist geopolitics, one which didn't just add women onto geopolitics and history, but one which Dowler and, Sh and Sharp describe as giving us a lens through which we can see the disenfranchised in their everyday lives. As Hindman says, feminist geopolitics gives us an approach to world affairs based on feminist ideas. It does this in part through peopling international affairs. Hindman says that people, as much as states, are the subjects of geopolitics. Similarly, Koch says that feminist geopolitics challenges the masculinist privileging of the big things and the disembodied vision that such an approach generally employs. Feminist geopolitics, then, looks at the geopolitics of the everyday, or the banal geopolitics, that had otherwise been ignored by conventional works on international affairs. Massaro and Williams state that feminist geopolitics takes the focus away from states and elites and instead focuses on the everyday, mundane representation of geopolitical power. Indeed, for some authors, such as Staley and Kaufman, feminist geopolitics should take on a normative element. If you want to rework the political, then you need to be committed to social change. So, where does all this leave us? Well, let's go back to those learning outcomes at the beginning. First was the importance of feminist approaches to politics. Feminist approaches are vital, as they're able to look at world politics through an entirely different set of lenses. The significance of Cynthia Enloe to IR and geopolitics. Cynthia Enloe has proved an inspiration to a new generation of scholars, and the subfield of feminist geopolitics is hugely indebted to her. The subject matter of feminist approaches, well, feminist approaches to IR and geopolitics don't just look at women as leaders, as some naive understandings of feminism might assume, rather they look at the ways in which women engage in, are fundamental to, and are exploited by the international system. How feminist approaches transcend gender. More recent works of feminist geopolitics move way beyond gender to instead look at inequality at all levels. Finally, the methods taken by some scholars, perhaps most controversially. For some scholars, it's not enough to just describe politics, but you also need to be committed to change politics. And where does all this come from? The lady in the tutti frutti hat. Americanos tell me that my hat is high Because I will not take it off to kiss a guy But if I ever start to take it off, I I, I do that once for Johnny Smith And he is very happy with the lady 